Hey y'all, Justin from Bus Island here with Philip Faulkner from Avid Boats. He is the owner, president, the mind behind it all. We're going to show you the 20 foot bass boat he has here at the Bassmaster Classic. We're going to show you inside now and get the scoop on it from the man himself, okay? All right. So, where do you want to start? Yeah, I guess we can just kind of start the bow real quick, maybe kind of work our way back, just do a quick, brief walkthrough of okay. the boat. Um, just a couple of things that I would like to point out just to start us off that you can interrupt anytime you don't like. But, you know, this is our true taper gunnel. This is a proprietary gunnel that we designed. Uh, starting with our first model, the Bay Boat, we'll be sharing that with you guys later on. Um, but you'll notice, you know, at first glance, it does give you that nice curve, uh, kind of curve appeal to the boat. But more than that, it also provides you a nice wide casting dish for a nice beam forward all the time. And I think that's important to note here. It's not something you see very often on the boat. It's not something you see very often on the boat. Obviously, stability is important, room up front, fishability is important, and I think that's something that we've incorporated not only into this 20XB that we're actually launching here at the Bassmaster Classic, but across all of our platforms, from the bay boats all the way through both of our bass boat models. And for, for y'all watching this on camera right now, you probably can't tell on camera this is not a fiberglass boat. This is an aluminum boat. The lines are super smooth. You don't get the weld marks on the side of it. This is a gorgeous boat in person. I cannot wait for y'all yeah. to get in the dealership and see this boat. I think I've talked to at least 15 people today that, that asked that question, and they were shocked standing two feet away from well, it. Well, we take that as a compliment. That's awesome. That's definitely the look we're going for. Absolutely. So I guess just moving back, a couple of things that I would point out is you'll we'll have abundant storage throughout the boat. One thing that's most noteworthy, any of these storage hatches throughout the boat, we incorporate a raised lip. So, you know, in days of the past, uh, aluminum boats have notoriously, uh, you know, had not probably the driest of storage in the world. So we've incorporated this raised lip combined with this nice weather stripping that we also add to give you a nice dry box throughout your boat. Yeah. This particular model, we've also incorporated a fiberglass foam insulated day box. This can also be used as a tackle organization center. It will hold 10 of the Plano tackle box uh, units as well. And with it being insulated and fiberglass, you can also use it as a cooler, correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's a dual purpose box. Again, just that dual purpose, bang for your buck. That's what we're all about. Yeah. So real quick, I may just hop in the boat Go for and point it. out this rod lock. Go for it. Notice here storage for eight, up to eight and a half foot rods. They are LED lit. Ooh, nice. And on the port side, we've got room for five seven footers. Again, raised lift throughout with the weather stripping, keeping these nice and dry. You'll also notice some neat features the LED strip lighting under the gunnel throughout the entire front deck for those early mornings so you don't fall off the deck of the boat. Absolutely, and you get a little bling factor as well. Looks good pulling up to the uh, to the ramp in the morning. Here at the helm, you'll notice we have room for up to a 12-inch unit uh, flush mounted into the dash. This is the 12. Another noteworthy feature, and it may be a little difficult to see for you guys on camera, but we actually enclose this entire console all the way around. So Mother Nature's not getting inside there. It's got a handy door you can open up, access your uh, your fuse panel, etc. And I think that's important to note from a longevity from an ownership experience you know, standpoint. And between the 19 and the 20, is the fuse panel still located on the door so when you pull it down you can get right to it? It is, as well as your bus bar for your accessories. Okay. That's a really cool feature. So you don't have to crawl on the floor and turn upside down to find your fuse when you pop a fuse. You just open the door and your fuse panel's right there in front of you. It's also, super simple. It gives you a nice clean look and keeps Mother Nature out of the console. Really well. Right here in the middle of the cockpit, you'll notice we don't put an aluminum lid here, carpeted lid. We actually put a glove box in here that is lockable, also with the gasket. So again, trying to keep maintain that dry box uh, theme. Keep everything the dry. Standard sea deck flooring throughout the boat. You'll also notice a 30 gallon live well with divider. Fluorite system, LED live well light with pump out. All is standard on this boat. Correct. There's one thing we're really excited to point out are these storage boxes on the back. So you'll notice these boxes, not only are they the largest in the industry, but they're also fiberglass and completely foam insulated. So these can be an additional cooler storage. If you got a lot of folks to take with you, a lot of stuff you want to keep on ice, but also makes for great just general storage as well. And that is located on both sides of the boat. All of our boats are backed by a lifetime 
limited hull warranty, a five-year industry-leading stem to stern interior warranty, uh, 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 and also your uh, three-year warranty on your uh, vinyl. So, so we're uh, we're only doing Yamahas. Correct. We are Power Max exclusive with Yamaha. Back the back of the boat. One thing I would point out is all the space you have in here. And I think maybe as a testament to the quality of the boat, look at your wiring, the neatness, the organization of the wiring. Notice that there's really nothing you can't get to. Your batteries, your power pole pumps, your onboard charger, your battery switch, fuel battery separator, your, your breaker for your uh, trolling motor harness, all within arm's reach. I think Justin might like that. I do. And the, the biggest thing about this is, you know, a 20 foot boat, everybody's going to want a 36 volt trolling motor on it. This boat has two eight foot blades on the back of it. It's got both power pole pumps in the rear of it, and there's still more than enough room to run at least one more battery if you Absolutely. needed to. So you have 36 volt system with a 12 volt cranking battery, and you could probably put a, a fifth battery in there if you ever Not needed to. Problem. There's plenty of room in the back Not of this a problem. boat. You want to run a dual battery switch, have a you know, cranking battery, house, house battery, battery. battery, not a problem at all. We've got plenty of room to accommodate that due to the location of the fuel tank, which is actually further forward, not in the build, is actually under the seat bench right here. So that's moving my CG a little bit further forward, giving me a little bit more stable performance at high speeds, not as apt to a chine walk, as well as opening up some storage opportunity uh, and easy to get to as well. And keeping the boat floating dead level in the water. Absolutely. Um, and there is an option for a center seat, correct? There is an option for a center seat. So all too often, I'll see the competitors, you'll have to choose one of the two. You're either going to have a center seat or you're going to have a small coin box option. So we were able to design a center seat option that allows you to have both. So it's a center seat. You can lift up the storage unit underneath there and actually get to some uh, additional coin box storage underneath the seat. So. Um, one of, some of the little features about the boat that I really like are just nitpicky little stuff that are, that's all finished up. But they go the extra mile and actually order their trailers with no fenders on them. They color match your fender to your accent color on your boat. It just gives your trailer that little pop and, you know, it's just something extra that nobody else is really doing. As well as the backlit Avid logo on the trailer. That's not that's something you get on a $75,000, $80,000 bass boat if you're putting it in a loom boat. It's amazing that you're doing this stuff. Um, but again... Let, I, can't, I can't wait to get this boat to the showroom. Let's, let, Much let's, let's talk some numbers that everybody's wanting to know. So, 20 foot boat, 200 horse motor, how fast is it running? This boat will run 65 miles an hour as equipped. So, that's two power poles, that's the optional fuel console, that's three batteries, two guys on board, three fourths to tank of fuel, loaded out. We're 65 miles an hour. Easy. All right. And so, pricing which this boat, we've got uh, detailed pricing and all that kind of stuff, and we're happy to get that. This is not what we will end up putting in our showroom uh, as a standard package. This boat so, is very well equipped. This is very, very well equipped, but we should so fall into the 40s on one of these. That's a 20-foot boat with a 200 horse. We'll at least do probably, what, nine inch, nine inch grass, helixes, maybe 12. Um, it's, I mean, I've, I've talked to a number of folks today already that are shocked at what they're getting um, after they figure out that it's an aluminum boat. Uh, so that, I think, are the big numbers. Is there any other? Uh, how, how's it fish? Catches more fish than anyone else. <laughs> Can't tell you what's in the paint. That's the secret. <laughs> well, Phil, we appreciate your time. Justin, thank you so much. And y'all uh, y'all stay tuned. Tomorrow and Sunday, we're going to do another walkthrough on the 21FS, which is their bay boat, and the 19XB. Um, super excited to have these boats in our showroom, and we cannot thank you enough for giving us our thank you. So proud to have Bucks Island as our Be sure to stop by for a great relationship. Are appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you guys. All right. All right. I'm going to do a quick walk around, guys. So you can see the whole thing. Again, we were locked booth 2229 to visit with James Watson as he returns to the booth. Aluminum boat, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll get you more later on.